on a scale of one to ten, I would say that was knackered. Look at that, it's completely, completely gone. So I've been called to this job, um, right in the corner of an attic. That vent pipe coming over the top of this tank, this is a heating tank, it's corroded through. We've put a temporary repair on it, um, but yeah, what we're going to do now is cut this off here, hopefully get a main line in there if we can get this undone, and just do this in press fit 35mm. Um, worst case scenario, if I can't get it undone, I have bought a threader, or we have to take it down from the joint below. Um, so yeah, we'll crack straight on with it. It just comes up and over the tank. I'm not sure where the cold feed, but well, the cold feed comes at the side. Um, but that one's been leaking years, I would say, on that joint. So we'll get it cut out with a recip saw and see what we can do. If I can get to it. It's not, access isn't the best. Let's take this off a minute. So I tangle myself up. go straight in with the 36 inch steel since just because I carried them all the way up to the roof space I've got some 24s up here as well but this ain't gonna be loose so these are a bit heavy to swing really in a tight spot but see if I can bring you see I've used this yeah, you can do if you want, Pat. Use 36 is just for leverage. But that's just going to crush the pipe, I think. Go nearer to the fitting if you can. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, we can put some heat on it, but. <sighs> See. These 24s are offset, so sometimes it's a bit easier to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done. The 24s. It's only because 36s, I couldn't get the. Uh... Hang on. Yeah. So they've got an offset jaw, so you can like go in above. Beautiful. That thread should be fine to go back in. We're just going to screw a main line straight in there and then come back over the top. But we'll press, we'll press it up out of position. Let's have a look at the old bit of pipe. It's completely gone, isn't it? It's a little bit No, it's a vent, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting, that, isn't it? Mm. Look at that look. Well, it, the system must have still been venting, but it makes you wonder, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably going up the cold feed more than the vent. Makes you wonder what the cold feed's like. I bet it's nearly blocked. But the system was working, it was just that leaking. Just going to press it because it's easier. But I'll press it down here. Yeah. That's alright. Just got 35mm pressed yours. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that was knackered. Look at that. It's completely, completely gone. There's no, nothing left of that pipe. It's rotten. Oh, 
such a clamp, look at Kenny. Aye, no worries, Pat. <laughs> So yeah, I've got my own measuring system on the back of the table. So we want to be under that long way. I'm not paying one ninety nine for a new tape measure. Just use your own, don't you? That's actually a Worcester tape measure, it should come with a seven year warranty, shouldn't it? <laughs> Next time I go on one of their courses, that's going back. I did ask at the time, I did ask at the time and he said it came with a seven year warranty. Is that for the first course? You know, if, if I'd uh, got the pencil with it as well, it would have come with an eight year as well. <laughs> that one, that one, that one and that one. So we're just prepping the end of the pipe and just get the file. Bit being a bit wider won't make any difference, I don't think, Pat. It's just the hole in the tank, isn't it? Oh, the hole in the tank. Well, we can shorten that down, I think. We'll take a bit out of that. Yeah, so we'll take... struggling up there. Yeah, we'll take so a bit... So, about an inch, do we? Yeah, we'll take a little bit out of that. that's that piece all made up we've just got to work out the length of this one into the main line the only reason we've been so accurate is because there's a hole in the tank so we just want it to drop straight back in two sets of 36s up but these ones are sometimes handier because they're offset so you can get over the pipe a little bit easier i've only got a 24 inch sets of them in rigid um but no so they're, they're handy because they give you more leverage but sometimes they're better it does make you wonder if this system's been pumping over a bit um looking at the state of the vent but we'll have it i mean we'll check it out but we'll get the we'll get the thing repaired i'm probably going to take that lagging off there because that's not doing it any favors at all the cold feed is just superficial i think and we'll get a screwdriver on that as well but that lagging is wet so we'll take that off we'll see if i've got a bit of lagging in the van for it um but yeah that vent pipe is completely rotten completely no point leaving wet, wet lagging on there the cold feed looks all right anyway don't it pat i thought so yeah, yeah. I thought so. no you're right at the minute pat i'll just get this wound in here mate yeah. and then we'll uh Get this system filled back up we'll make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here just at a funny angle in it you right, take your time Best day of the week. We do it next bank holiday. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do so much. We'll do so much. That should, that should make it. Yeah. There's your pipe here. Cheers, Pat. Now I had to buy some new paste. Should have so, seen my old one. Can you want to it? What's that? I know. <laughs> the price of it, mate. Yeah, me, eh? Maxor blades. I know. You know hey. Tape measures. You want to see my multi tool blades? Been sharpening them. I've got one about that long. Now there's nothing wrong with that tape measure. It's, you know, yeah, yeah. it's, it's only the first bit that's oh, wore yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble is, you can't just buy the first bit of the tape measure. You've got to buy it all, and I don't want it all. Oh yeah. Sad. Sorry, mate. You're all right. You're all right. No problem. You're all right. Good to be here. 
Right, so. There we go. There we go, we're in. We're in the hole here. We're in the, we're in the fitting here, so we shouldn't be far off. And it's deep enough. I was going to say, it shouldn't be far off. You're good here, mate. I've got the pipe. I don't need to get you over still, is it? Nah, that's alright. Them dog ones, them angry ones. Nah, this, this will tighten it up enough, that not like. <sighs> I think that'll be fine, Pat. Sure. It's only a vent, innit? <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Did you ask, is the border isolated? Just mate. Yeah, that's fine. I can't believe they've run that blue poly in there like that. Yeah. So that vent's all back in and connected up. So the boiler was isolated. We're just refilling the header tank. Um, and we'll check the radiators, but we'll make sure it's not pumping over. But yeah, apart from that, that's job done. Right, I've been called to this job. Um, this water eater, apparently it was leaking all over the floor. Um, somebody's isolated it and switched the power off. Uh, what I'm going to do is just swap this out. It's quite an old one, this. I'm going to put a just a Heiko hand rinse in. So these are just like a vented water heater. So you've got some cold inlet and a spout and then just a power supply in. Um, so yeah, we'll make sure that water is isolated. It is still dripping a bit. I'm not exactly sure where it was leaking from, but I'm not going to mess about with it. I'm just going to swap it out because the cost of these units, what are they, 50, 60 quid? By the time we've tried to fix that thing, I may as well have just chucked it in the bin. I don't know if that water's quite hot. wet through in this unit I don't know where it was leaking from I know it's probably leaking on the spout connection but even all on the electrics is wet and very wet so it's probably the actual unit split all these have got an element inside this is actually a stored one but I'm putting an instantaneous one in um, the rating they're still both three kilowatt um, so it'll be absolutely fine this should just lift off now he thinks service valve is passing a little bit but not too bad uh, get the new one on the wall try and cover this mess up and yeah get it piped in the unit's gonna have to sit there somewhere I've just bent a feed in what I'll do pipe up onto the unit just and then I'll screw it back last it just gives me a bit of movement up and down <sighs> wasn't a bad guess with the pipe then was it not bad for an old boy anyway What are you doing here? Do do that stopped after he's passing a little bit. The trouble is the the other one's not working either, so I jet blue actually. to pick some more jet blue but we got enough
That's the Newton of the of the unit. screws you get whisked off are all full. But it's only a tiny little heater. As long as it holds it on the wall, we'll be read. Shoes, but you're going to do that when you knock it off. There we go. I had to change the isolator as well because I wasn't happy with it and it was leaking. Mind you, this one's probably leaking as well. I think it's just sweating actually, but I weren't happy with it, so changed it. So we are all done. I just fitted a new kitchen sink on the other side of this, and I think the waste must have come out. Of the boss or whatever it was in, it was completely loose when I cut into the pipe, and obviously I've disturbed it, so I'm gonna have to open this up. There must be a soil pipe in there. You see, it's completely flooded. This side. That's the sink I've just fitted. All I've done is teed into that waste pipe because it's feeding across, and it must have come out of that soil pipe on the other side. So I'm gonna have to open that box up. It did feel loose, but I assumed it went into a gully because you can't even pull that pipe out. I don't know. The rubber boss had pulled out, so all I've literally done is pushed it back in. I'm just running some water through it, but now I've got to retile this wall. What can you do? I was as careful as I could be, and literally just, just pulled out. You win some, you lose some, don't you? Just when you think it's going to be a nice, easy day. I think it'll be all right. I might actually put some CT1 on that um, bung <sighs> so it doesn't pull out again. I don't think it will because it's nice and solid, but it'll probably leak now. <sighs> I think that piece of soil pipe was in there wedging it before. I've just put some CT1 on the rubber. I know it's a little bit of a barge, but it stops it pulling out. I think it should be all right. It shouldn't pull out anyway. I mean, it's solid. It's just if anybody works on the waist and twists it, they're gonna be the same thing as me. Because obviously I'm just gonna to have to towel this back in now. But yeah, it's not leaking. And it's all in there, so it should be good. The $50 million question is, have I got any white towels on the van? If I've got any, they'll be behind here. I used to keep some white towels behind these boxes, uh, but I ain't got any, so I'll have to go and get some towels now. Well, I've just screwed the bit of board back in. Um, just one of them things sometimes, nothing you can do. Uh, obviously, I've made it good, I just need to come back with just four white towels, but I think that would have happened to anyone and so uh, just fitting the sink, and that waste must have been so loose in that boss. Um, but anyway, it's always one of those things. I always put plenty of water down because. You can just tell, can't you? I wasn't happy with it. I was assuming it was going into a gully. Clearly not, it was into a soil pipe. 